baked beans. Those baked beans are gold. Simon and I are fighting. Uh, how many days of confinement? No, we were just fighting over baked beans. Fighting over baked beans. Sounds like a good movie. Woohoo! I like baked beans. <sighs> I haven't had my coffee yet. So welcome. You're here for cooking. Um, hopefully, we're on live. Okay. Usually we get some people that come in pretty quickly. So we'll just introduce ourselves as we usually do at the start of the hour. I am Deborah from the Center for Enhancing Abilities. I'm out of the Bergen location, uh, but all members, especially whoever just came in and gave me one of those little eyes, perfect. Um, so I'm Deborah from the Bergen location of Center for Enhancing Abilities, but all members are welcome. From our Bergen, Morris, and Middlesex. Uh, you don't have to stand on that. So I'm Deborah. This is my assistant, Simon. I'm bigger than you. Eventually you will be bigger than me. Everybody will be bigger no, than I'm me. On a stool. Maybe not this way, but height wise. So it's our cooking class. Once again, from our amazing 19... 36. 30s kitchen? I don't know. I don't know when. This house was built a long time ago. So most things aren't. Yeah, we've lost cabinet doors and, and somebody messed my curtain system Sorry. up. So, But that's okay. That's all right. So you can see we're getting a little wacky because we've been together a long time, haven't we? Well, I've seen you for my entire life. That's so. true. That's true. All right. The sass. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning. Make sure. Let's go over the rules for our Facebook Live classes. For me to know that you're here and to get a shout out, you got to give me a shout out. So chime in. If it goes to Facebook Messenger, I probably won't see it till afterwards, but I usually try to respond. So here, focus. Um, so give me, give me a little shout out that I know you're here. Um, and if you have any questions during the course of this class, you just type them in and you send them on your way. Um, uh, you make a comment on Facebook. And generally, especially when I'm pretty close to my phone, I can answer them. I can see most of them. I don't see most of the. Sometimes I don't see some of the comments. I don't know why. So if I ever um, do not give you a shout out or I'm not responding to your comment, maybe do it again and it might pop up in my feed so I can address it. But right now I do know I have Jamie joining me for cooking. And I'm just starting my coffee. I don't know how many days we've been here, but I'm kind of dressed like Little House on the Prairie today because we are, it's Simon's shirt's on backwards, so you do not need to comment on that. So Simon, don't worry, we gotta fix that another way. So today, your audience is over here. Simon's on a stool, he didn't suddenly have a growth spurt. We are making- I ate a super mushroom. A super mushroom? Do you even know what that is? No, I don't. It's from Mari. Okay, well, mushrooms in my generation meant different things. They were magic mushrooms. Oh. Not good for you. Yeah, not good for you. So today's mug. Clad. I'm feeling a little kooky. All my patterns are a little nutty. What super mushroom is? I don't know. It makes you grow. It makes you get strong. It I don't know. Grow. Okay. All right. Well, How don't tear apart. Oh, the house is haunted. I just put my two yeah. here. I have to clean out those. Hello, Amy. Bye. Hello. We've got Kara and Cheryl, and we've got Jamie, and we've got Amy for whatever time, Jeez. and we've got Simon that needs to focus. All righty. So we've got a few. Kitchen's falling apart. We got Stephanie. Good morning. Yep. And Stephanie caught him. He caught Oreo. And Simon. What do you say to Stephanie? Um. Hi, there you go. He's a little shy. He's a little shy. Twelve. Uh, how old are you? Eleven. You're eleven. Eleven-year-old boys. Hey, Doug. Glad you're on today. I missed you yesterday. I know you came in a little bit later, so I'm glad. I'm glad. So Stephanie had asked me early on what we were making today, and um, at the time she'd asked, I didn't know. I kind of knew, but I didn't know. So sometimes, especially for cooking, 
I may not always know exactly what I'm doing until maybe about an hour before. Usually I know the night before, but um, because I got to see what ingredients I have because uh, Simon's tearing apart the place because we don't know what ingredients uh, we have that readily and we're trying to think of what we can do that you would have ingredients handy. Okay, Simon's really trying to freak me out. So, too much, too much time together. Now, hey, Caitlin, how are you? And I'm glad. What's your dog's name again? Remind me of your dog's name. Oh. I'll give your dog a shout. No, she's got a dog's name. Um, we're also going to do a little different take on this. I think we're going to do it as a YouTube video, maybe not live, on um, working with a social story on how to make pizza. So, so keep an eye out for that because I think I'm going to recruit Cooper for that. So there's a good social story. We're kind of a sequencing story to kind of let us know, you know, how we how we do pizza together. So that was your hint for what I'm doing. <sighs> good. I'm running low on coffee, so I'm starting to get a little nervous. I want All to right. say what we're doing. It's pretty simple. Okay, you can read it. You can make the announcement. Yeast free. Bo meat. and Maya. Bo and Maya. Hi. Yeast free pizza dough. I thought it was meat dough. No, 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 no. It's yeast free. Meaning some of us may still be home or we're not going to the food store and or and that you may not have yeast. yeast. And I've told you before, I don't have good luck with yeast. Simon, yeast. we've got some weird tunage going on. Can we can we turn that off? Do you think you can find the remote? Cooper left that in? Yeah, thanks. So to reduce our sons. And you know what's very interesting? So um, when you do videos through YouTube or Facebook and you use music from other people and it just picks it up in the background, it can identify that music. It's kind of freaky and weird. And then um, not that I'd be making money off of this, but it like flags it or it limits your ability to use your videos. Just an interesting bit of trivia. So we are going to be making pizza dough today. Hence my groovy apron. Um, I don't have shoes on. I have very thick socks, so that's giving me a little pep in my step. So, your ingredients for today, um, and Simon, I've already lost them, um, is two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Now, I'm going to be talking a little bit about how we're, we're, we're always switching up our flours, right? We're switching up our flours all the time. So, but you're going to need, and I will share this um recipe online i'm still waiting for some pictures of rocks from yesterday's video so, so please send them out please please um but your ingredients for today so simon as i shout out the um ingredients i want you to hold up the ingredient for them for our, our millions of viewers so i don't think you need the the stool nobody can see your head um, we, we, once this is all done, we need to really invest in some real equipment here. So two and a half cups of all purpose flour. Can you find the all purpose flour? But we're going to switch this up. We did a little research. Like we did last time. Yes, we did. We're going to switch it up. We're going to use, uh, semolina durum flour. Um, because that's all that was left on the shelf when my husband went. So we're going to try it out. But for generally, we this recipe calls. This. Yeah, but there's only like a little bit and, and that's like gold. So um, we have whole wheat. You can switch it up. You can, I bet you can use non if you are using gluten free. Totally think you can do that. So, but we're going to switch it up. So that's two and a half cups of your flour. Then we're going to use three three teaspoons of baking powder. Can you find baking powder? Okay, and you may want to step down so we can see your face. Why don't you step down? Step down, no, step down off the stool. We, you don't need it, you're tall enough. You're tall enough, okay, or rest on it. Show them a label, even though, hey, I think Alex is on. Welcome, Hi. welcome. So two and a half cups of flour, three teaspoons of baking powder. We need one teaspoon of salt. So this is a pretty basic kind of recipe. Salt, there's the Morton's. Don't, they spent thousands of 
millions of dollars on their logo, so make sure you show that. Give them credit, you can use any kind of salt. Um, and then we're going to use water. We're gonna use three fourths of a cup plus two tablespoons, kind of weird. We have our water over here, so you guys kind of know what water looks like. Don't coffee. mess with my, yes, no, the coffee is mine. Coffee's mine. Here. Okay, we've got our water already, not measured out, but we have our water ready. Um, and then we need one tablespoon of canola oil. And I found this interesting. I, um, and I, we were talking about this before that, that oils are, are very controversial. Some people, you know, swear by some others. I have like a vegetable blend. That's all I've got. So that's what I'm going to do. I also have a lot of, even though it doesn't look like I have a lot of olive oil. So I always have olive oil. I don't know why they asked for canola oil. I don't know if canola oil is lighter. Um, when I make a dough, sometimes I use an olive oil. I don't know if like olive oil is like a heavier, I don't know, I don't know. So I think you can use, please, please stop. It's time to go back to school, but apparently we're not going back. So um, I also, if some people want to experiment. I have a liquid coconut oil. I'd be curious, I don't have enough. Coconut. But uh, put the lime in the coconut. You know that song? So we're going to be using that, okay? So those are the ingredients of our dough. Then we are going to help you in drastic chime, times make a quick uh, tomato sauce. And um, we will show that uh, as well if we've got time. So uh, grab whatever tomato sauce. Simon had a very good idea. Maybe you want to use diced tomatoes. You can if you want to cut up your tomato, make more of a margarita, you can. All right. And you're going to need some herbs and spices as well for that. So welcome. We are going to give this a shot. We are going to make a yeast-free pizza dough. So it's probably going to be, you know, that yeast needs time so so that the bread rises and it makes it more spongy and soft and airy um and that's why your pizza is so delicious but we these are these are these are tough times so we're just seeing like hey we don't have any yeast in our house we're gonna work with an alternative dough so it's probably gonna be uh i don't say more biscuity but 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 a heavier kind of dough it's gonna be a, a heavier th uh, i don't want to say thick um but but a heavy kind of dough that's what I, my guess is that's what my guess is i don't know if somebody thinks of a better way hey christian what's going on christian's asking questions about caitlin's cat which is always cool so uh, another shout out we will be doing our zoom trivia night okay so zoom. Uh, go onto our Facebook page. You'll find the email to find out how you get an invite to that. But we will be doing it live as well. That's my goal. So if you don't have that and you're around at 6.30 tonight, go to Facebook and we'll include you that way too. Okay? So let us begin making pizza dough. Okay? Do not show pizza. that I'm behind in hardware and do-it-yourself things okay so uh maybe i didn't get all my measurements and tools so we need two and a half cups of flour two and a half cups of flour so so we are going to use yeah we don't be Life is exciting if you make it such. What? Alrighty, okay, so, mm. sorry. Now, we are going I'm sorry. to make, it's okay. We are going to make two and a half cups of flour. We're gonna measure two and a half cups of flour. So for your measuring cups, as you recall, get your measuring cups, right? Here's a one cup. We, um, different cups are from different types of ingredients, more of scoops and cups like this work really well for dry, more of a pitcher or a pour, not so good more for liquid. So Simon is just going in there and he's just like scooping stuff out. So what we need to do is we want it level. Okay. Now Simon wasn't listening. 
my scoop is only a half a cup. So I need two and a half cups of flour. How many half cup scoops do I need? One. I need one for the half cup. And how many scoops, how many half cups does it make, do you need to make one cup? Two. Two. So I have two, four, four five. five. I need five scoops of my half cup scoop. All right, and let's go. That's now. one. But wait, we don't have Oh, you to got do flour that. all over yourself. Well. Well, don't worry, you won't stick to anything. All righty. Okay. Um, Isn't that kind of the one? That's the point of flour. Now, here you go. Hey, Katie, what's up? All right, learn to make some pizza dough. Simon is pouring it in. We are using two and a half cups of flour. Uh, and what we want to do is it's we want to one. level it off. How many was that? That's three. Please, somebody keep track. That's three. Because we only have a half cup scoop. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Pour that in there. Pour that in there. That's four. Hopefully we got this right. This is quite a bit of flour. Now remember, flour. And we, pour that in. Okay. We did this a little differently. We used a different type of uh, flour. Good job, Simon. Our semolina flour, I don't know if you can see it. It's a little bit of a different color. It's more of, um, of um, a, a yellowy color versus if you use regular flour. And it's typically, if you put it in your fingers, it's, um, it's a little bit, and we can, Simon and I will do an experiment. We'll take a little, here's some regular flour, Simon, regular all-purpose flour, okay? And I'm putting it, oh, it's very smooth, it's very soft. You wanna try that? You put some in your fingers, don't worry. It's not contagious, hey, Dave, all right. Yeah, put that in. No, it, I want you to feel it in your fingers. Regular all-purpose flour, it's smooth. It's very smooth, it's very fine. When you work with a semolina durum or durum semolina, I don't know, it's coarser. So that's going to affect our pizza dough. So ours is probably going to be kind of a heavier kind of dough. And that's cool, that's cool. Because as we said, for our recipe in these times, we're looking at what we've got in our cabinet and we don't have everything. So this stuff is gold. If you find it, some places are, um, you can only buy like one or two at a time. So I, I need to go to the store. So we wanted to try to be healthy. I don't know, some people think it might be healthier. I don't know, I don't know. You can use whole wheat. When I work with whole wheat flours, remember what we did with our um, quick bread? and our Irish soda bread, we cut it in half. We did, because I think that would be too heavy, too dense, that's the other word I'm looking for. So we cut our flowers in half, half all purpose, half uh, whole wheat. So it's up to you. So, but we're gonna be experimental. We are working with a different type of flour today. So, but that's cool, that's okay. It's all good. You're gonna have flour all over the house. So. Now, we put in our flour in our bowl. Now we're gonna need, because our first ingredient, Simon, is what? The mixing bowl. We fill the mixing bowl of flour. Yes, we got the flour. Baking powder. Baking powder and salt. And then we're gonna whisk it. All right, that'll help get some air and that'll help it get really mixed. So hold on, uh, hold on, Simon. What I'd like you to do, is um, I buy lots of bowls and things. Bowl. So we need three teaspoons, three teaspoons. Today you are being treated to a different spoon set. Mm. Like I have many mugs. Half a teaspoon. Uh, no, we need yeah, three, three teaspoons. So we're gonna use a different set and you're gonna measure it in this little bowl. So we wanna make sure it's even before we we pop it in. Because does anybody want to chime in? What is it about baking? Baking is different than, than regular cooking. It's more, 
It's, you have to be more exact. Yes, yeah, so Simon, and we're gonna show you in just a second, is um, he's using that lip in this particular container. Good. So here you go. Good. All right. So here we want to show them. Nice, nice. So here, hold on. Just hold on a second. You can put that one in there. So remember, certain containers have these little lips, right? These little, this little piece. And that flat piece helps with your spoon. We've got two. And it goes like that. Okay, that's what helps you level. If you do too much, too little, it's gonna throw off your baking. And, and it's funny, because at, at the Bergen Center, when we, I got flour going all over the place. Excellent, that's three, good. Um, we noticed that if we change certain ingredients with our cookies, every week we make cookies or muffins, and if we change the ingredients a little bit, or something's off, it changes the whole the whole product, sometimes our cookies rise, sometimes they don't, um, so it's fascinating. So anybody from the Bergen Center that you've witnessed that, chime in and let us know. Baking is more of an exact, it's an exact science. So Simon, dump in our baking powder. Let me make sure. Uh, yeah, baking powder. And we always have this argument, Simon and I, and they're both basic. What does that mean? Okay, you're gonna tell me. <laughs> all right, all right, so. Well, they're both a thing. Yes, they're but... both a thing. You apparently, uh, so. Now we need one reaction. teaspoon of salt. So we're gonna do the same thing. Sugar. When you're a little worried Baby about powder. measurements or you're a little cautious, Baby always have like extra powder. bowl. I have many oh, bowls. Doesn't do the same thing as baking soda vinegar. What? They have the same reaction, and we were going to do this. So, um, let's, hey, let's agree to disagree so we I've can keep unity. I've already done this a million times. So, so have I. I so have I. So, we need one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of salt, Simon. So, as we were saying, you know, when you're measuring, um, I like to measure all my ingredients before I start. We didn't do that because we kind of overslept. Well, actually... I was working on trivia questions. You overslept. Trivia I questions guess. for tonight. I will be there. Be square. Six. I pity the fool. That's a hint. All right. So Simon is getting one teaspoon of salt, and he's going to. He should be measuring it over this bowl, so I don't have it all over my floor. Yes, there we go. But not over our main bowl, because what happens if he has a spill? That doesn't look like enough salt. Okay. All right, that, that looks okay. That looks okay. All right, I'm going to put it in there. Now, good job, Simon. Good job. Mm. <laughs> so, we have our dry ingredients. Trick question, what are dry ingredients? What's the difference between dry ingredients and wet ingredients? Do I have to say that? Yes, yes, you have to. Dry ingredients are not liquid. There you go. Wet. There you go. Now, some dry ingredients are they're, they're dry, like sugars. Usually, you'll, you'll mix in with your dry ingredients. But we don't have that problem. So we're working. Does anybody have that problem with metal scraping against metal? I have that. It, it sends me in a frenzy. But sometimes you have to do it. I know, but, but it's, it's, it's a problem. It's a problem for me. I have that issue that you can't hear people chewing. I hate metal against teeth. Oh, wait. When people scrape that fork against their teeth. Woo! Who puts their fork in there? No, some people, I don't know. I don't know who does that. But just thinking about it is just, it's driving me nuts. Okay, well, so. Well, you wouldn't like the teeth clipping subreddit. What? what do people it's say? an image of a person with a nail clipper in there? No, no, no. I don't like anything then, like that. I don't like anything. I have some really weird things that you'll probably find out. And their teeth gone where the nail clipper was and then they bite into Okay, something. we're cooking. I don't need to know what that is. Uh, nail most, clippers. It's mostly ice cream. Let's get, okay, let's get back to cooking instead of grossing ourselves out because I can, I can keep going. But isn't that just cooking? So, no, no, it's not cooking. So, we're using our whisk. Whisk really works well because it kind of adds a little air. It lets everything kind of flow through all the wires of your whisk. So, you're just stirring that, okay? Just make sure it's well mixed. Awesome, because 
um, if we got any teachers there, um, you know, we want a, a mixture, a mixture. We want everything dispersed evenly throughout our mixture. Okay, so our dry ingredients. Now here's the, here's where the, the, the challenge begins. The challenge begins. Alrighty, now I found this interesting. This particular recipe asks specifically for a wooden spoon. Okay. I'm not saying you need a wooden spoon. I mean, I have many, but okay, hold on, hold on. That water's not measured. So, our next thing is we are we're gonna measure our water, and we're gonna combine it with oil and water in a separate bowl. Hey, Alona, how's it going? Hello. All righty. So hold on, hold on, hold ye horses, hold ye horses. I'm so just being don't, prepared. So don't I don't want you messing up my recipe. I'm just being prepared. All right. I don't know who's going in through my utensil drawer. I've got all different kinds of whisks. That's all right. A weird whisk. It is because I'm weird. All right. Um, so we need how does that uh, three fourths of a cup. So hold on, Simon. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll do it this way. All right. So we need three fourths of a cup of water. Okay, you ready? So you're gonna pour it to that line and we're gonna talk about measuring liquids again. Okay, we have to concentrate. There we go, there we go, good. So, and remember, we're gonna be doing a, a social story pizza making video for people that you know, need to take a little slow or you know have that kind of fun. So, when we measure, a liquid, you want to put it on a flat, even surface, like a table. I'm holding it up for you. So if you went like that, you can see how my line is is off. And if you're working with baking, it's really important. So I'm putting it on my table, and I'm looking. It's a little over. It's a little over. I, mean, I don't think it's going to make a big deal. There we go. That's great. So we're going to get another bowl. Lots of bowls. Uh, I forget. I, got the, I think I got these at Target. I think I got these on one of my vacations. I don't know. So we're gonna pour this and we need two tablespoons. That's a very weird, um, no, two tablespoons of water. We need more water. Oh. It's three fourths of a cup and two tablespoons of water. Can I do it? Yes, you may do it. Just, okay. I, I'm a control freak as some of you know. So it's like, I'm losing control. You want to hold them even. I mean, it's just water, but Oreos in the back counter. Excellent. We got a couple people that spotted them. Excellent. Thank you. This recipe will be posted if it if it's worth it. No, I'm kidding. Now we need one tablespoon of canola oil. One tablespoon of canola oil. So we're going to use, Simon, should we use vegetable oil, which I think ours has canola oil, or should we use olive oil? Because we don't have canola. Let's let's use let's use this whatever this this type of oil is. We don't know vegetable what it is. Oil. Let's use vegetable oil. I think I'll give it a, it, it, the oils do affect the flavor. What so what you want to do is you want to hold it level. Now keep you keep pouring. You, that's why you want to measure over other bowls. There you go. Pour that in. Okay. Simon, can you do me a big favor? Can you put the lid and the lid, the cap on the oil? Now, what's very interesting that looks really cool for is this is reason. asking, I make a similar type of dough when I make onion pie. Um, you're gonna mix uh, to combine the water and oil. Here's your science question to you peeps. Can we truly mix water and oil? Give you a second. So I'm taking my li nice little whisk it's a little whisk, it's a baby whisk, and I'm just trying to break up the oil a little bit. But does oil and water combine? No. No. A sort of a synonym. Do, I, do you know, I what, know what a synonym is? A, I know what cinnamon is. Synonym. Synonym. Things it's that the same are, thing. are alike. Alike, I mean. Excellent. No, same thing. That's that's good enough. Now the question is no, and we can't really show you because it would pour all over, but oil and water do not mix. They're different chemically. They're, one's polar and one's nonpolar. So their little molecules actually 
repel each other. They they will never mix. It feels so weird. They doing the same they're thing not like repelling. They're not like this. They're like me and Simon most of the time, rebelling, repelling each other. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna now add some of. We're gonna add slowly. Simon is looking at the oil. It, it you know, have cool. fun with it. It looks. It totally looks cool. We are going to set a wooden spoon. Um, I do not condone violence on children. Um, yeah, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> um, Verbal violence. <laughs> Um, we are going to add the water slowly to our dough. Now, this is the trick. It says a wooden spoon, but you're at some point going to have to use your hands. All right? So that's why another reason, maybe take a break. If your hands have gotten dirty, make sure you wash your hands. Um, we're going to slowly add this. Okay? So we're going to take out our mini whisk. And we're going to slowly add the water and oil mixture to our flour, so that's what's gonna make a dough. Batter is more wet, more liquidy, and a dough is firmer, has more of a shape. So Simon, are you ready to work the wooden spoon? Sure. I am, I've had this wooden spoon probably longer than I've had you. So we are going to pour a little by little. I've been in my life more than you've been in your life. You've been in your life 100% of the time. And I'm, I don't know how what percentage of my life you've been in. So we're going to slowly, if you add it in too much, like all at once, you might all of a sudden find, one, it's a little bit harder to mix. And if you have too much water, it, it, this is like this fine balance. It's like a dance. Um, if you add too much water, then you absolutely, and it's too soggy and too wet and too bloppy, you're gonna, you're gonna know you're gonna have to add more water. I mean, you're gonna have to add more flour. Yeah, so we're adding it in, and at one point we're gonna get our hands in there. Okay, now, we've added the whole amount, so hold on, Simon, I'm gonna make a determination here. So you can start, you can start to see it's getting kind of clumpy, but, it's not ready yet. We need so more water. We need more water. So I'm going to get my hands in there, okay, because I'm just a big kid. Why are you abusing the dough? Well, we have to knead it. We have to beat the dough up. So, ah! Simon, you are going to add some more water. I, uh... Whatever's left. Okay, not what's ever left. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. See, there's a little pouring spout. So just pour it in there, and we're gonna show people just a little bit. That was not a little bit, that was the whole piece. No, it wasn't. You will need the dough. We need the dough, and we need to knead the dough. So as you can see, you my dough's more? forming to come in. Yes, pour a little bit more in. This is one of the things when we're making dough. Good, and pour the whole thing in now. You know, you wanna do it in bits and pieces. Now, I have more water. The reason why I'm pouring it in the bowl is I'm trying to get as much of the oil in. So you can start to see I have a nice bit of dough, but I still have some crumbly bits on the bottom. So, Simon, a little bit. You could do it by a couple of tablespoons at a, a t tablespoons at a time. Yeah, you can pour the whole thing. That's not a lot. Get it over there. Get it over there. Yeah. Okay. Now... How do you know your dough is too, whoa, too watery? It's going to stick and be gloppy all over your hands, okay? My dough is forming a ball. It's not really sticking to my hands that much. Let me see if I can get, see when it's like really sticky and gloppy. But I think we got the sweet spot. Okay, hold on. Now, in your bowl... This is a good time I can do this, see? I have a little bit, I'm moving my ball of dough around, hitting Simon in the face, um, to pick up the extra dough. I think this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think we did a pretty darn good Wouldn't job. Would this just make bread after this? Or would just be a giant ball of pizza crust? I mean, it would be like a very thick, heavy, biscuit or something like that you just don't are we gonna put 
like yeah pizza. we're gonna put we're gonna put some yeah this is pizza cheese pizza pizza tomato. i got cheese i got cheese kids today so what? we've got our dough okay well, why are if you it's seeing kids today i don't know because <laughs> you said you said to me you said okay boomer <laughs> i'm not well, a boomer but who Say okay. I don't. I have respect for my elders. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna need the dough. So Simon and I are going to risk life and limb. Uh, Simon, can you move a second? I'm gonna cut the dough. No. Yeah. Why are you killing me? Ah, I almost cut my hands off. Can I All tell right. you something? Yes. You're trying to escape the evidence of you beating him up so you're okay. cutting him in half. I'm taking a little piece of dough and I'm going to put it if you're not going to, oh, whoop, whoop, technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Okay. We're going to take a little bit of the dough and we're going to put no, it in a bag because we want Cooper to make it. they're not technical difficulties. They're happy little accidents. Happy little accidents. So we're going to put this dough aside for Cooper. Simon's gonna. I'm gonna take away ah. our knife for knife safety. And then you're gonna right. stab me in the chest. Wait, no, I'm not gonna do that. Yes, okay. And Simon's got a little bit of dough, and I got a little bit of dough. Now we've got to knead this. So we're gonna. We, you're gonna. You can work it in your hands. You can roll it on the table. I'm not doing that because then you won't be able to see it. So we're just kind of kneading it and. I think they said, uh, you know, just a little bit, just to get it together into a shape. Good, not too much. Now, we, they said like to need this for five minutes on a floured surface. So, we're putting a little bit of flour down and yeah, you can, you can roll it, you can move it with your hands. See how I'm doing that? I'm moving it with my hands, moving it with my hands. For you guys coming late, we're making um, no yeast pizza dough. Uh, can you use the recipe for baking? Or is it just for making pizza? Caitlin wants to know. I think you could use this for a variety of things, but it's really more, I think, of a pizza dough. Because I don't it's pizza dough. Well, no, it's a good question. Um, I think that it's no, not a we... sweet dough, so I don't think you're really we'll gonna use, use it. it. For some other recipe. I, you could maybe make like breadsticks. Uh, I would think you could. Maybe? So what I'm doing is I'm really working the dough. I'm pressing down on my table and moving out. I know I'm, you can't see that because I'm not on the table, um, but I think it's more for a pizza because I think it's it's a very. I think it's just gonna be a heavy dough. It's going to kind of sit there. It's not going to be, you know, some people can get it really crisp and thin like a yeast. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think this is, but I would think maybe you could almost use it for, um, and I have a recipe for focaccia bread, herb bread, I think I maybe got it like good. a biscuit. Yeah, I think you could. I think you could. I mean, Caitlin, good I question. I think I got it down pretty good. All right. So the more we work it, um, kind of working, yeah. So Simon, yeah, you can squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Ooh, yeah. My perfect shape. Wait, does um, it have to be a perfect shape? No, it doesn't have to be a perfect <laughs> shape. The reason why, um, I'm just looking here. Okay, with cooking spray. I was like, are you asking for parchment paper? Who is parchment paper? Poets? Poets. Uh, no. So you use the flour on a surface so your dough doesn't stick. And the more I work and knead the dough, the smoother my dough feels, okay? Now we're working with a different flour so it's a little bit coarser. But now we want to make a shape. So you, um, this is a 400 degree oven. Now, I like my pizza round. But you can make your pizza any shape you want. Why? I just think I'm just a creature of habit. Okay. Um, this one round. is a metal. Imagine if they made round. I'm going to give you the metal. I'm Imagine if they made round slices of pizza. They do. They, they serve little round ones. Ooh. When I was a kid, if anybody from. Like in a pod. I was growing up in the 70s, Butoni's. 
pizza things. I don't know what they were called. They were like they were like hot pockets that, before they were hot pockets. If you've had those, let me know. They're delicious. A good anti-stress activity because you're working your anger out in your dough. Absolutely, Caitlin. Very good observation. Another reason why we do these things. So you can use a cookie sheet. We have a clay. Because we're so angry. <laughs> Yeah. And a metal. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. Simon and I, I'm going to put these over here. Okay, we'll move our plant. Plant. Okay, yeah, we got plants. And uh, if you're using a cooking uh, cookie sheet or something like that, you might want to spray it down. That's what they recommend. So we're going to do that. Uh, we got that on. I got a non stick, but I think you still might want to. Now, no, don't don't beat the dough. So, what we're gonna do is we are now going to spread the pizza on the pan. So I'm gonna go first. Okay, hold on, Simon. Move, move, my friend. So we're gonna put it on our pan. And uh, maybe we can do something where I can get it higher for you. Let's get I'm going to give you your own pan. Here, get, get yours off my... Ta-da! Look at that. Are we not, like, awesome? Thanks, Lifetime Fitness, for your vegan protein. All right, so we're going Wait, to... Wait, is that our composter? No, that's the other thing, oh. our composter. So I think if you need things too long, does it become too, like, difficult or too thick? So you're working um, with your fingers, if you like. You can flip it over a little bit. If you're finding your hands are, like, it's not sticking, you can put your hands in a little bit of oil, just a little bit. I've done that. And what we're doing, you can also use a rolling pin if you want, but I think the fun of this is, it's not a very big pizza. Imagine if there was just a giant cube. I was hoping to feed, pizza. I don't know, I was hoping to feed the whole family with this pizza recipe, but I don't think that's the case. So hey, I'm Mom. spreading it out. What happened to those brownies? They're in the other room. We, they're right over there. We have to hide some of our food for some of our family members here. So I'm kind of spreading it out. You don't want any holes or anything like that. Okay. And we want to stretch it out to about one, okay. one inch thickness. One inch of thickness. Did you know there's a place in Atlantic City that's a pizza that specializes in sushi pizza? That sounds delicious. Sounds weird. No, and this is so I said, there's sounds weird. there's my pizza. There's my pizza. Bad. I just said we're going to get Simon's off that spoon, but then we're done with that spoon. Here's Simon's pizza. Now, Simon's, you're going to kind of spread that out, make like a circle. Can I do it? Yep, make a circle. And what is not on this recipe, it's on the website. They recommended to bake this or to cook this dough for about like eight minutes or so, and then add your sauce. I've had it where you make like a dough and it gets very mushy and wet. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put mine in. Uh, I'm gonna put mine in for about five minutes. All right, okay. Now while Simon is making his shape, here Simon, I'm gonna put you over here a little bit. Okay, can you move over this way? Move your tush, excellent. We're gonna talk about making a really quick, hi Cooper, what's up? Lasagna soup. Uh, I'll make lasagna soup in a second. So what we're gonna do next, it's always something in my kitchen. Yay! We're gonna talk about making a really quick sauce. If you have tomatoes, if you've anything like that, if you have spaghetti sauce in a, in a jar. My mom, um, her parents were Italian and she didn't let us eat that. Um, but I do, because that's the way I work. Um, but what I always keep in my cabinet, if you're going to the food store and you're risking life and limb to get there, um, always keep some cans of tomato sauce, just plain tomato sauce. Is that good? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's put that in too. 
So here's Simon's. All right. All right. All right. Let's take away this because we don't need it now. But that's awesome discovery. So we're going to make a spaghetti sauce, and Simon's going to help me. So. Yeah, you want to do that? Okay, Simon's using my, uh, I have arthritis. Yeah, put it in there. Now push the thing down. Wait, is it? Here? Yeah. Yes, I got it. Now push it down. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, technical difficulties again. Lasagna soup, it is. Keep that, hold that down. It is delicious. Maybe that's a day. Watch your fingers. Okay, there we go. Um, lasagna soup. So anybody's interested, I will make that for cooking. That is awesome. That is awesome. So Simon opened up our container of tomato sauce. And it got everywhere. And he's spilling it everywhere. Great, I'm all clutched. Oh, my goodness. All right. In times, I feel like I'm living through the Great Depression. You know, my grandparents would be like, don't waste that. Don't waste that. So maybe wash your hands. So we have just some basic tomato sauce. You could use like, I would drain a lot of the liquid out and use diced tomatoes, or if you're growing them in your garden, that's great, but we have just plain stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is we are going to make it from, um, maybe not from scratch, but we're gonna add a few things to it. And this is really up to you. So I like uh, a lot of herbs in my stuff, so Let's go over. You might have Italian seasoning. You might have oregano, right? So, I'm, ooh, I like a little rush, crushed red pepper, but I think not everybody likes that, so we add that after the fact. No. Basil, maybe you like a little basil. Okay, hold on. And a little bit of garlic, salt or garlic powder. So I'm only gonna add like a little, uh, a, a little, a little, little, just a little, because I don't want it too garlicky. And it's really up to you. Sprinkle it in, you want to see it, but it's really up to you. I love basil, I love oregano. Yeah, put in some nice basil, I love them all. Okay, that's good, so you can see Simon added some in. Simon's adding a little oregano. Um, we don't need to add Italian seasoning. There's other stuff in there, but we, but we don't need that. Uh, Okay, well, ah, that's too much. <laughs> um, sorry, uh, rescue the yeah. Uh, Simon just poured uh, a lot uh, in here. Sorry, so um, you want you don't want to over over spice your peeps, you know, your, your family members. So when you see it's an open container. Just make sure. We need some salt and some pepper. Kosher salt. Yeah, you don't, there's no, just, I, I, it fell off years ago. I have the same container. I'm a creature of habit. Yeah, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little shake. It's up to you, your personal taste. And a little, I'm gonna do some fresh ground pepper. Here, you wanna add a little, not too much, cause we don't wanna scare the people from our pizza. You're gonna go, what is that, Achoo. clockwise? No, clockwise. You guys don't even know what that means anymore. A chew. Good, good, good. That's it. That's a, 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 a little dab will do you. We're having lots of technical difficulties today. All righty. All right. So you're then going to take a spoon. Up. And well, we've we've had a lot of accidents with you today, my friend. Stir it up good. Stir it up good. She can't even so you can hardly see it. All right, stir it up good. Okay. Okay. But just get out of the way. So here is our pizza dough. Yeah, it's super hot. So. We're going to do our pizza, move over a little bit, my friend. We're gonna be adding our pizza. And hopefully this will be delicious. So you're gonna move that way for me. You're gonna move this way. We've gotta now buy a whole new thing of oregano. Sorry. It's okay, accidents happen. 
Okay, we do. We just also have a lot of it on our kitchen counter. So we are going to add our pizza sauces for you. We'll go back. So this is very hot because it is a certain kind of pan. Oh, hands out of the way, hands out of the way, hands it's out of the way. Cooper. Yes, 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 it's burning my hands. Is that right. mine or? No, yours is over there. So what we're gonna do, no, don't touch the pan. I we'll do it one at a time. All right, you're gonna take your sauce and you're gonna put it on your pizza. It's really up to you. And I'm gonna show you in a second what it looks like, how much. I wouldn't do, um, can you get my other, can you get, can you get my other um, one? Um, and you can add, you can either add your tomato, the other pot holder, please. All righty. So I wanna show you our pizza, excellent. So when you use these clay, they're really hot, all right? So if you want a little crust, you can. If you like a little crust and you want to put a little olive oil, you can get a, um, Are we gonna pass it? Yeah, we're gonna, sorry. You can use a little olive oil and a little brush. No, and, this isn't basting, I'm sorry. No, basting. Basting? Basting. Isn't this? that when you, with the turkey? So I take a little bit of olive oil. Can I do it? Okay. Simon's going to do it. He's going to run our, around the crust. Around the crust. So he's going along the crust with the brush. You know, you could sprinkle some herbs or something like that. Gives it, gives it a nice little shine. Just watch yourself with the uh, thing. Yeah, you could do it a little bit faster. Okay, and if you need more oil there. All right. So... Like I said, getting it a little cooked. But it's getting with the, the dough, tomato sauce. That is okay. Getting it a little cooked mm -hmm. is a little better because then it sometimes gets floppy. Or you can just add your stuff on uh, right away. Okay? And then you're going to add some cheese. Cheese. Uh, I like... Uh, but we can't eat it. I just put... You know, just cover it. You don't need it. It's up to you on how much but you want. we can't eat it because you want. we still have to cook the cheese. What? We still have to cook the cheese. Cheese. Yeah, well, you can't eat it now. You can't eat it now. The crust. So I'm putting some cheese on, maybe a little bit more. I like sometimes to mix my cheese. This is a plain mozzarella. Uh, maybe you want to put a little Parmesan on there, or some can people put, put some, some other stuff. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, because we rock. We're cool. Yay! Uh, I ran out of my, oh, you know what? Cheese sticks. Let's add a little uh, Picorino Romano. On there. What is that? Okay. Sorry, guys. I thought this would be so simple. I thought we were going to run out of time, and now we're running the risk. So, mmm. Mmm. Are you just going to mm. take a bite? Yeah. This is, uh, this is, uh, we're going to grate the cheese. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to use this grater. Use Yep. You all right? All right. So Can you're I gonna take it. Cheese? Yeah, you're gonna go. I'm gonna hold the cheese, Can and you're you gonna kill somebody with a cheese. Grater? No, you cannot. And Simon's just grating a little bit of cheese on there. You could do it. Yeah, you gotta kind of get there. There we go. Just it just adds a little bit of a tang. A little bit of a tang. Excellent. You don't need a lot. You don't need a lot of this. All righty. So we're gonna put this, Simon, uh, watch your hands. We're gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna get the next pizza set up. Simon can do that while we, no, don't touch your hands. I'm okay. Kitchen safety. All righty. All right. Well, at least none of the coaster oil fell Yeah, out. this stuff keeps its heat. And let's see. You're gonna put that in for about 15, 20 minutes. Since we've already cooked a little bit of it, I would do more like 10 to 15 minutes. All righty, so I'm gonna set my timer. All righty. And then Simon's gonna work on his pizza while we uh, just go over our stuff. So, that is how, on this recipe, it doesn't have the part to make your own spaghetti, your own pizza sauce. Spaghetti. Um, there you go, Simon. Knock yourself out. I mean, not literally. 
but um, really? it's something very easy for you to do. You just add um, tomato sauce. You can use spaghetti sauce. You can use jarred or canned pizza sauce that's in the stores, whatever it is. You can make it a white pizza with ricotta if you have that, I guess. Um, but it's up to you. I like a little tomato sauce. I mean, I guess you could even use like salsa. You could do something really different. You could really experiment. But as long as you have a very basic type of canned tomato, tomato sauce, which is a puree, if you've diced tomatoes, I recommend to drain the liquid or put it in a processor to make it into more of a sauce. Then you add your own special seasonings and spices, and then you add your cheese of choice, typically mozzarella, mozzarella. Uh, if you're doing. And we just didn't have any other um, things to add. You can add pepperoni, can mushrooms, vegetables. If you only have um, frozen vegetables or something like that, um, yep, we'll have lunch in a second. You can add all those, those, those things, pepperoni, um, I don't know what other people like. Pineapple, I know, is very controversial. Add that in, in for here. yourself. But I saw this, this is image how. Of peas and mayonnaise on pizza. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. No self-respecting Italian pizzeria or deli would, would have mayo, that? in my opinion. In peas? Discuss. Think about it. Tell me that I'm wrong. Okay. So the recipe will go up on our Facebook page to make a ah, yeast-free. Pizza dough. We talked about differences that you can add different flours. Try it with a gluten-free recipe if you're that kind of person that needs gluten-free. Um, oh, no. That would be awesome. That's great. That's great. Don't worry about it. It's going to be eaten. It's going to be eaten. I'd put a little extra sauce. All right? Cover it. Cover it with sauce. That's how we work. Cottage all imperfections. And now the cheese. I really do recommend that you don't put your hand in the community cheese. Um, maybe you put it in your own um, bowl or container because knowing you. Knowing what's going to happen. Uh, yeah, it's or pour it directly. Um, but the way we work with our cheese is we freeze it a lot and then that way we have it because it gets moldy. So look for the recipe, show me, send me, uh, post them on this feed, send me pictures of your pizza if you make I it. I would cheese? love to see it. And tell us, tell us if it was any good. Cause that's what we want to know. You know, we're just, we're My winging it. My pizza dough exploded. No, it did not. So we will see you later but for wait, Lunch Bunch, or I will. Cheese? And what do you say to our adoring fans of thousands and millions? Bye. Bon appetit. 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 Bon appet